there is no higher priority than the safety and security of American citizens around the world, and that includes those who may be wrongfully detained, held hostage. In Evan's case, we are working through the determination uh, on uh, wrongful detention, and there's a process to do that, and it's something that we're working through very deliberately, uh, but uh, expeditiously as well. Um, and I'll let that process play out. Secretary of State Tony Blinken today at the NATO meeting in Brussels condemning the jailing of Wall Street Journal correspondent Evan Gershkovich. He has now spent a week, a week in a KGB prison in Moscow, arrested last week, now charged with spying. Allegations the Journal and the White House fiercely deny. The Wall Street Journal says Gershkovich is in good health after finally being allowed to meet with his legal team for the first time since his arrest hired by Dow Jones, his, his publisher. His colleagues at the Journal are keeping his situation front and center, this photo of him projected in their newsroom. And they're promoting the hashtag, I stand with Evan, across social media, demanding his return. Joining me now is former U.S. Ambassador to Russia, Michael McFaul. Ambassador, unfortunately, we've been through this before. You've been through it. Uh, we know that Paul Whelan has been there for four years. Mark Fogel is there. Mark... Uh, Whelan was convicted of espionage and awaiting a trade of some kind, did not get out with Brittany Griner, Paul Whelan, rather. Um, so he's not officially wrongfully detained yet. What does it take for the State Department to declare him wrongfully declaimed? It was unusual that the Secretary of State talked to Lavrov. They have not been talking very often, frequently at all. Uh, but on this, very quickly, they got he got... Lavrov on the phone. It's unclear what influence Lavrov would have on this. Well, it's good he's talking to him. I think that's the right move. Uh, this will be decided politically, diplomatically. It won't be decided in a court of law. I think everybody needs to remember there is no rule of law in Russia today. There was before, decades ago, when you could expect a trial of some sort. Uh, nobody uh, can expect that today. Nobody, Russians, Americans, uh, Europeans in Russia today. Uh, number two, there is a process that the State Department has to make these determinations. And we have this curious case, as you know well, that Paul Whelan has been determined to be wrongfully detained. And Mark Fogel, another American uh, held hostage, in my view, hasn't been. And I don't know what the reason for that is. And it was interesting to me that Secretary Blinken said they need to run that process. But from everything I've read, he is wrongfully detained. He was arrested for doing his job. Uh, and that's why he was arrested. I think that's important for people also to understand. Putin doesn't want people in Russia or the world to know the facts about how he rules Russia. Uh, uh, Gershkovich was providing those facts. And I think that is a reason, an additional reason why he was arrested. And we know also that the uh, Soviet ambassador, the Russian ambassador, I should say, because this is the first time this has happened in 35 years since it was the Soviet Union. Nick Donilov, another journalist, U.S. News and World Report, was taken uh, during the Reagan years. Um, but that the Russian ambassador Antonov was called the other day and, uh, because Blinken was overseas, saw the deputy secretary of state, Wendy Sherman. Uh, so they are operating on that level as well. We know that Evan is the American son of Soviet-born Jewish exiles. They settled in New Jersey. He spoke Russian fluently, fell in love with Russia. Does his background play a role at all here? So I don't know Evan personally, but I've been reading him for a long time. Uh, there is a history of people like him uh, that speak Russian fluently, grew up in the United States, oftentimes started, Andrea, at the Moscow Times, a local English paper, and then worked their way up to other places, just like Evan did. He's a fantastic journalist. I've been reading him for a long time. He can get into the fabric of Russian society in a way that others can't, because he is fluent. And I think that's part of the reason why he was detained. And we should point out that Danilov, also in that other era, was the grandson of uh, yeah. Soviet, of, of a Russian general exiled, uh, also of Jewish background. We should say that Jews across the world are setting an extra place at the Passover Seder tonight for Evan.